Hey everyone, it's Rama here at the UMI Performance Race Shop. We've turned into the UMI Street Performance Shop today. We have this 1978 Cutlass that's been in the back room for a while. We decided to start a project. We have the green machine, which basically rips. And so we were trying to do something like kind of mild mannered, but still excellent performance. So we decided to consider a UMI Stage 2 kit. Stage 2 is our power tour package been cross country a few times in UMI stage two equipped cars. And uh, we figured that would be just a, a great thing to put in the 78 Cutlass. Sometimes things happen, you know, that you don't expect and, hey Dustin. Oh, did I interrupt something? Just a video. Just a video. What What's, do you got there? So I have a stage two uh, GBF 002-2 kit. Fits it? Fits this car right here. 78 oh, wow. Cutlass. Oh, nice. Well, that's cool. You're our resident G-Body expert. Don't tell the boss, but I shipped a whole kit down here to the race shop. That sounds like a great thing to put on this. Uh, yeah, so this is the stage two kit, the uh, power tour kit that uh, we're going to throw on this thing and Maybe make Maybe we it. should do it in a couple segments. Maybe make some videos out of it. Show the crowd how to, how to install all this stuff and uh, show how it takes this from the wallowing boat of a cruiser car to something crisp and nice and still good for back roads and daily driving. Yeah, uh, everything in here should uh, should bolt right up. No modifications, all brand new bolts, brand new everything. Let's do it. All right. So Dustin, you know at UMI Performance, we're known for our awesome made in USA quality, and in this case, excellent G-body parts. But you know what else we're known for? Uh, the packaging. Uh, so here at UMI, we like to make sure that we put a lot of pride into getting the material to you as nice as when it left the shop, and it's not all banged up when it gets to you. Let's take a look. What do we have in this box, Ramey? I believe this is going to be trailing arms. So uh, 3015, 3016, poly bushing. It is some nice packaging. Yep. Oh yeah, we got the trailing arms, 3016s. We got some 3015 lowers. Oh, 3028 frame braces, 3000 bushings, 3001 bolt kit. Now I guess we're gonna open up all the other boxes and see what else we have. Cool, let's do it. So Dustin, looks like your shipping people were doing a little overtime. We got a 3055 rear brace here to tie the back end together with a flexible G body. And it looks like you got our popular triangle front brace here. Yep, 3053. We, uh, we make a ton of these babies. So Remy, as you can see with all the cardboard that we have in the pile over there and all the paper and everything, we finally got everything unwrapped. Uh, 
you know, we don't joke around whenever we send it to you. We make sure it's packaged up good to go. It looks like it's in perfect condition, actually. This uh, GBFO2 kit is going to make the 78 Cutlass be pretty awesome. Yep. Um, so what do we got on the floor? Well, I noticed you added a little bit of extra bracing, the front and rear brace. Yep. Um, up front, we have our inch and a quarter sway bar the A-arm kit, tall upper ball joint and caster improvement. Okay. So we're gonna have camber gain, make the front end grip around exit ramps and such. Um, the caster improvement makes the car not feel vague. You feel what happens in, through the steering wheel okay. as opposed to the factory. The spring rates we have are kind of medium stiff, so they're not squishy like now, or race car stiff like some cars we have. Right down the middle, works great. Uh, Bilstein gas charge shocks come in the GBF02 kit. Okay. Trailing arms um, are poly bushing. So we have some race car stiff ones with rod ends in them and some medium stiff ones with uh, roto joints. But these are our baseline street performance ones. So they're great for power tour, great for daily driving, hitting the back road, occasional autocross, that type of thing. So it's kind of the best of all worlds with the poly bushings. Right. Uh, one inch rear sway bar. Uh, some 3,000 bushings for the rear end housing. So I think we're uh, heading for a pretty good build series on this. Uh, you know what else they should do? Like and subscribe. If you want to see more of these videos of me tearing apart this car, that's for sure. Like and subscribe. Like and subscribe. If you need anything, support at umiperformance.com. Uh, everything in here should... Uh... Should bolt right up, no modifications, all brand new bolts, brand new everything. Let's do it. All right. You know, like I said, we take a lot of pride and put way... Uh, Ready? No. You know what we're also known for? Uh, packaging and dang it.